Hi everyone and welcome back to Zoe at the Movies. Turns out, wishes do come true, because today I'll be interviewing Naomi Scott from Aladdin. And you're wearing like a jasmine green, I see. Yep, yep. Gorgeous. It's so nice to have you here. Lovely to meet you, Chloe. Disney princesses have been very relevant in Disney films. The prince is usually secondary, but um, how did you contribute to make Jasmine a leader, but also add your own personality? Well, first of all, you're very grown up for a 10 year old. It's, it's kind of amazing. I mean, I was still climbing trees when I was 10, but anyway. Um, yes, so how, what was the question? <laughs> I'm just so in awe of you, Chloe, and how much, Zoe, I keep calling you Chloe, sorry, Zoe, I'm just so in awe that I'm speechless, sorry, what was the question, my darling? So, Jasmine is a true leader, but how did you also incorporate your own personality? My own personality, hmm, okay, well, I think that, you know, with any character, you always bring something of yourself um, to a character. But I think for me, I wanted to humanize her. I wanted to make her feel relevant, you know, and I wanted to make her feel like, you know, girls can relate to her. And, you know, she goes through issues just like anyone else. You know, she's being shut down and, um, you know, tried to uh, be made silent. And uh, she goes on a journey of finding her voice. So I think that those are universal themes that everyone can relate to. And also these were beautiful sets and I love this movie so much but when you were acting did you ever have a moment that you were just like wow I'm Jasmine oh yes absolutely um yeah there have been many moments from the get-go I remember when I first met Will Smith and um I was a, a bit, we were in a gym and they had like shower cubicles and I'd showered got ready and I put a towel on my head had no makeup on I walked out and he was like running up and down I thought, okay, I've got this is, you know, I'm gonna meet Will Smith. So I just shouted, Will! And he like turned around and I realized I had such a long way to get to him. I was like, this is just gonna be so awkward. He has no idea who I am. He's just seeing someone come to him who's like, you know, a, some random girl with a towel on her head. So anyway, I got to him and I was like, oh, I play, I play Jasmine. And he was like, oh, and um, he's so incredible. He doesn't make you feel like a weirdo, you know, when you're being a weirdo, because it's Will Smith. Um, and then Guy Ritchie came and I was standing there with a towel on my head, Will Smith, Guy Ritchie, there was like a tray Mill, and I was just so perplexed. I was like, what is my life? This is incredible. Um, so there were many surreal moments. Even, you know, at the premiere the other day, I was just like standing thinking, wow, this is just amazing to be a part of something so iconic. I feel very, very blessed. And this is kind of a dream come true. As you said, you're working with Will Smith and Guy Ritchie and um, Alan Nelkin. So what was your best memory from doing all of this? I mean... It, the dance sequences were so much fun. They were just, because you everyone becomes one big family. We had an incredible choreographer called Jamal Sims. Um, and you know, that end sequence that we filmed, that was during reshoots and everyone knew each other and we had so much fun with the dancers and in between shots, Will would like hype up the dancers and you know, kind of do little mini performances <laughs> in between. And I was like, this is just, this is my job, it's, it's incredible, it's the most fun. And in the movie you're dancing, but you're also singing and also a cappella. So, was it challenging to do all of that? Yeah, I think that it's definitely, for me the challenge was more the fact that it's not my usual um, way of singing. You know, I had to kind of sing in character and I'm, I don't really come from a musical theater background and my music is definitely more in the R&B world. So I had to kind of, you know, alter a little bit while still keeping, you know, my natural um, voice. Um, so that was, I think that was more the challenge than anything else. But actually singing on set was a lot of fun because um, you kind of just have to forget that everyone's there. You have to just be in the moment, even though no one else can hear the music, only you and you are singing a cappella, pretty much. And Jasmine is, as I said, she's a leader, but she also is such a role model. And I see lots of young girls these days following other people. But what do you think is like a good role model for young children? That's a good question. Sorry. Um, what do I think is a good role model? I think, I think you just have to kind of be yourself. I think um, no one's perfect, right? Everyone makes mistakes. And I think as long as you kind of just 
own that and you can grow with it um, and you have you know good values and you care about people um, I guess you know that's kind of it but um, yeah I just feel very blessed to even be considered you know a part of this so very excited can I do one more question oh. and you knew you could play Jasmine from a very young age but is there any other Disney princess you think you could also play do you know what less so a princess I I, I would you know, I'd actually love to play a Disney heroine, uh, a Disney villain. I'd love to play, although this would never work for me, I love Corella Deville. Like, not, she's not a nice person, right? But so much fun to play. So I probably would prefer to play a Disney villain. Thank you for talking with Thank me. Thank you. Thank you very so much. <coughs> wow. So well done. My gosh, I'm so impressed. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Check out my Instagram at Zayete Movies. Check out some of my other videos. And also remember to always stay true to yourself. Goodbye.